Hello again from Rally Junction. Uh, another, just a little quick update to uh, show you what's been going on. Uh, not much really. It's the continuation of ballasting, the ballasting grind that goes on and on. So we started here. That's where it ends from last time, just before the points. So we've done up to the points and then between uh, the main track, uh, I'm slowly but surely ballasting the points very carefully. Um, as you can see, there's a little, not really gone for it completely, but I will do that later date and much carefully. This is the quicker and uh, relatively easy part of ballasting the uh, the main track. Uh, this is Javis Light Grey Medium Ballast, I believe. Not too sure about that, but because it, it came in a packet. Uh, I haven't got the packet. Hold on, let me show you. You might be able to tell me. Let's have a look. Upside down, is that upside down? Oh no, you can just see there. Light brown ballast, medium. Now I don't know if that was uh, by a... I got them off eBay. Three packets, I can't remember the price. Long time ago. And then I looked at the amount of track and thought, oh, I can't ballast that much, but just little bits. Uh, as and when you feel like it really so this was done yesterday uh, as you can see it's all fairly dry now clean the track off uh, and the other thing I've been doing is just maybe I'm a bit premature here I'm just trying out different uh, types of vegetation um, that's a grass a little bit of grass mat there have I got anything to show you? sure I have yeah uh, Gauge Master, grass mat, I think that's summer green and what I've been doing is just uh, tearing it off, cutting it up into random pieces and just trying it glued along the track uh, down I was, I thought that would be a, quite a good uh, juxtaposition when I finally get the, uh, the pl proper platform in, hopefully you get Scaledale in uh, I think that looked quite good at the edge as a you know, the station master needs to do his job and clean those weeds out. And then also I've just gone round here and just put little clumps and tufts up here. And also some uh, summer flock, uh, coarse turf it's called. I think that's Woodland Scenics. Coarse turf, just to break up the shape of some of these. That is just uh, coarse surf. It looks quite good, there's a little patch of weeds. Uh, back there you can see the coarse surf in between the tufts of uh, the Gauge Master grass. Uh, so that's what I've been doing at the moment. It's, as it goes, an ongoing process and we just keep plodding along. Now the other thing I've got to show you, and it might be uh, that I you'll hear it before you see it. So. Let's just see if you can guess what it is before it uh, uh, comes round the track. I'll have it coming round here, uh, but you'll hear it before you see it. So, and you can uh, have a guess at what it is. Shall we start? Yes indeed, it's a Hornby TTS Class 40. Um, I got it the other day and therefore I am selling my Lima weathered Class 40 on eBay. 
Uh, no, no, no bidders at the moment, but a few watches, so we'll see. Yep, yeah, I wanted a Sound 40, I've been after a Sound 40 for a while, and I picked this up at Trident Trains. I won't tell you the price, but, um, roughly. Uh, well, go on then, £80, but don't tell the wife. So yeah, she's a lovely low coat, not a bad sound at all. Uh, again, I mean, the modelling isn't as spectacular as on the Batmans, but it's a model rally. I'm not into, I guess I'm, I'm not that uh, anal about uh, how they look as long as they got a, an approximation. I think once I've weathered this one, uh, it will it will suit my requirements great. So let's uh, let's just take it around the track and you can have a quick listen to it on full full chat. Let's just thrash her up. Here we go. Trust me. I'll let it come past. Slow it down again. As you can see, it's slow running qualities are uh, very good. Uh, you can also uh, notch up and notch down while you're stationary. And also to simulate a, so imagine you've got a lot of uh, freight or carriages on. So yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. So I will uh, continue to update you on the progress of this. I don't know the next thing to do. Let's just turn this off. Noisy thing. Yeah, um, I think the... The next thing I'm going to do once the ballast in is probably try and get a uh, double platform in here. The uh, plan is to curve it round from here and probably up to there. Uh, I think that'll give me enough length to put a few coaches on, make it look hyper realistic. Because it's a tail chaser and I haven't got a lot of room, I'll never have uh, a huge rake of coaches or freight on. Um, it just it just looks a bit silly. So yeah. I'll uh, I'll be back with another update at some point in the near future. And by the way, there's the uh, old Lima Class 40 DCC. Uh, check out my video. There's a video of it running uh, on my channel. And if you like it, why not buy it? Yes.
self-promotion there. Fantastic. Have a good one. See you now.